Hello, welcome to this video of Tomb Raider 2 Glitchless Tutorial. Today it's gonna be about Barker Monastery. Really, really long level, the longest of them all. Um, gonna probably cut this level into parts. So yeah, let's go. So first, just a couple of running jumps, so nothing too special about. And just don't kill those guys, don't shot the monks, obviously. And you will be able to maybe do that sequence. Well, not that one, obviously, but <laughs> this should be that sequence here. For example, up, then you go here and here. So how do you do that? It's actually not too complicated, but there are just a couple of sequences that looks a bit the same. So don't worry about that. So you just go here, get a jump and try to jump on top of it oops you can actually completely jump on top of it and not just okay whatever just like this and then just keep going so this is probably the best sequence like this up so you you want to delay one two three jump over diagonally immediately jump turn standing jump and keep going so this is the fastest way there is another way which is okay you just jump here well the sequence should be a bit different i think but just jump here you can that's not what i want to do so you, you should be a bit you should be curving a bit from here and landing here so you can jump here do another jump here late grab and do two standing jump and you'll be able to do it so this is a kind of a same except it's you add a you replace a running jump with a standing jump which loses you a bit of time but this is a bit easier i think because this sequence is actually a bit hard but worst case you will have a bad sequence and lose two seconds so it's not too bad just practice that and you will see what you can make it for example if you fall here you can just do that for example and keep going so mistake is not dead or whatever so so kind of do a sequence as you want and it will be fine generally so prepare yourself to draw your auto ammo so up and just when you get here you roll and if you do the sequence right, that guy will be just in front of you, so you can shoot him. So if you don't have bad sequence, you will have to look around him and etc. So yeah, do as you feel. Then you jump here, nothing too good, too bad. And you're gonna have to do this jump. So you can yolo it like I just did, which is roughly the same as the setup I will show you, except that you YOLO it and you have to late grab generally. Really late grab, I mean. So here it won't... Oh, it might work, okay. So you, you just want to jump close enough to the corner and jump as straightforward as you want, as you can, to make it. And late grab but don't grab too late like i just did and yeah that's basically how you want to do it so i want to explain more about yoloing because i want to explain the setup so the setup is pretty simple you just go in the corner just sidestep until you can't anymore back step turn a bit lara uh to the left a bit like when it's set up like the corner you need to be lined up a bit with lara's head in the middle of it so just do that up turn like this and do a running jump and grab and you're good to go so this is pretty easy and if you do it right enough you can do that so you don't have to grab if you do it right i don't recommend grabbing uh i don't recommend that because Sometimes it can fail if your curve is weird or whatever. So what I recommend is just grabbing, but just mentioning that it's possible if you want to do it. So you just 
to that that line up Lara like this. Do the running jump and grab. Try to not grab too early to be sure to make it. And uh, the same. You want to try to be to stay as much as you can straightforward, so you don't lose uh, lateral position. You know, curving. So you will make it because if you like if you try to grab on the right here like this, you might have some trouble. So just be careful about that. Uh, also, if you don't want to use a setup but you don't want to kill it, you can just go against this wall, step back, line up like Venice, and do the same. So it's it's not as consistent as a setup, but it's pretty easy. So I recommend that when you don't want to lose too much of your time. The setup makes it 100% consistent, but that is fairly easy. So choose the way you want. Showed you four ones, so should be enough to pick some. And then you just want to go there. If you are on the left here, you can fit a running jump like this. If you are, uh, if you are here, you can't though, or you will, you will need to curve a bit and take a risk to fall here. So what I recommend is just standing jump, shoot the window, and keep going. Don't shoot him with auto, by the way. And do running jumps here, go here, oops, not in the wall, but in the corner, and just go here. Monks will take care of um, um, of the thugs, and climb this ladder. So there is one thug that, what you have to know compared to Glitch, is that monks can't lose against this guy, because there is only one guy, which is a newsy guy spawning, a newsy guy's maybe you know it but they can't eat monks so that's important for the, for the next battles because you just need to kill the rifle guys and it will be fine so then you just go here just mention be careful to not cut corners too much because that can happen for example or you can go through without realizing so just be careful about that big boxes of those things are a bit weird so just go here pick the key and keep going so you can cut the corner it's actually pretty easy but if you're not feeling like it don't worry don't do it it's just save a couple of frames well maybe half second max and you will get there so you have two way three way of dealing with that you either trigger the boulder here and wait for it to fall which is the easiest one but the slowest one so you just trigger here trigger is this line here going there so um yeah or you can do this so you do a jump here oh wait actually it's not that so you just go here wait for it to come and you do a swan dive so already it was a bit late but you can do it without damage pretty easily i just not used to do it oops too late again so you just want to stand roughly in the middle, cancel the camera, and do a swan dive laterally like this, on the side I mean. And you will mm, almost never get any damage, so yeah, that's the easiest way to YOLO it somehow. <laughs> and yeah, you, 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 will, you will get it every time if you just practice for two minutes, you will realize it's pretty easy. So it's slightly faster. Just be careful and don't forget about the camera and it will be fine. Or there is the oddest but quickest way, which is this one. Oh, it's not too hard. I will explain to you how I do it. So what I personally do it is when I drop down here, I land and then I start curving left to hit this wall here. Kind of like not 45 degree because 45 degree you have a chance to bump the wall obviously. But I do it close to 45. The closer it is to 45, the easiest the second jump will be. But the more chances you will have to bump the wall. So this is a balance you need to adapt to yourself, obviously. So that's what I do. Jump up, come back to the left and do the same. You, you do exactly the same, but the other side. And yeah, so because 
if you do it like this, for example, you will have to curve way more to, to get it, and you will risk the bump. So this is this is why I just curve a lot the first one. So you can see it's still possible, but it's less lenient in my opinion. You you want to do the first one, and then the second one is really easy. Like you you will get it every time. This is what I do. I roll generally to get to be a bit faster, and it still works. I don't recommend you to roll when you start because it will put you further. And you don't want that because the further you are when you trigger the boulder, the closer you will be uh, when you when you will do the second jump. So this is not what you want. So yeah, just do two jumps diagonally, and if you can do it, it's good. It's, if you can't do it, do another one. It's not too bad. And then you can either trigger the boulder and wait for it to fall and then you can even take the flare or wait for later and keep going so this is the slowest way of course don't pick the flare wink wink and uh there is an easy and fastest way really easy actually you go here you roll here and you do a running jump on the side and you will make it every time and generally no damage so you just roll to this slope here and do a running jump on the side so just roll when you start when you're almost on the corner and then it's fine so i won't go further than that because there is nothing else to explain just roll here do a running jump and it's good and you keep going there so you jump in the water of course be careful about the current here you just want to kind of swim diagonally like this and just press down to get to this hole a bit tap down and drop down here for the best parts of this tutorial kappa so you want to emerge in the middle to be able to do the sequence how i will explain it so we like a flare but you don't need a flare to do the sequence and here we go so this is the sequence you want to do So this is the sequence you want to do. So this is like this. Jump one, two, one. The second jump here, you do standing jump, and you do running jumps and keep going. So this looks simple, but there is things you have to know. If you do a sequence straightforward, perfectly like this, I will show you what happens. First, you might get hit by this door, but it doesn't happen, and then that will happen. So she, as you can see, she got not a bump, not a bump, but you could see that the ceiling was a bit not letting her go forward. And what that can do is that if you get a perfect sequence going straight forward, you can get damaged and even die to this. So you, you really have to be careful about that. So here I didn't get it, but obviously I can't get it when I want to, but tr trust me, it will happen. So what you want to do is you want to slightly curve the first fan, first time, and then you want to curve again here a bit. Oops. Well, here. Actually, what did I do? No, that's not what I wanted to say. Forget, forget just what I just said. <laughs> Never mind. So you, you want to do, you want to go forward, up, then here you do this, curve slightly a bit. To avoid those damage oops that's not what i was supposed to do so here we go again so two running jumps here just curve slightly because if you don't curve slightly there's a chance that you get hit by those it won't be too much to be 30 percent health if i remember right but it can happen and then you do running jumps and you curve a bit slightly and you will generally avoid that bump or you will uh you won't get any damage from it so this is this this helps you to not take too much damage so that's pretty cool so like this so here so this is what i wanted to show you so here for example i didn't get the 
small thing with a ceiling. So that's what you want to do. So one last time. One, two, three, four. Stumbling jump. And then you do running jumps. So yeah. So here I got the thing. And it was actually pretty close. But whatever. So you want to keep going there. And up. Prepare your M16. And you want to... You can start instead of climbing your ladder, you can jump from here. And you will land here. So you can do a standing jump and keep going. And you're gonna try to avoid RNG. So what you can do, you're gonna you're not gonna shoot the monk, obviously, but you're gonna go forward and at some point Lara will point at the rifle guy and you will start walking like this. Shoot him and the monk will take care of the rest. So generally you, you want to shoot 15 bullets, so roughly. Oops, that's not what I wanted, but... Like this. And as you can see, he, he's already dead, for example. If you just shoot enough and the monk eat him. So... Then the monk will take care of the other guy because he can't shoot him. So that's, that's why you want to kill the first guy. If you don't shoot the first guy, it's... Not guaranteed, but there is like... 70% that the monk will die, so just be careful, just shoot him and keep going. So you don't want to kill him fully, but almost fully. So you can walk to be sure, or you can keep running obviously, but you will shoot him a bit less, so monks have more chances to die. And then there is this spot, so I'm gonna kill I'm gonna wait the monks to do his job because I need to show you the sequence. Please kill him. Okay, so go for a flare here. So you want to go over these. So what you do, monk, please is when you go to the corner you want to jump here and then you you'll be able to do a standing jump and keep running so this is the best uh, sequence but you won't get that every time so again jump from here a standing jump and you will make it so if you do a perfect sequence you will get the first one when you keep running or here you can just get a soft stumble and you're still able to keep going so those are the two best way um, if you miss it, if you miss any other thing, for example, here you jump too late. Well, let's try to jump too late. If you jump too late or whatever like this, what I recommend is do two roll. Oh, interesting. This is not glitchless anymore. <laughs> so, you can just do... Please. Oh, I don't have any flare anymore. Whatever. Just roll twice and you will be able to pass it through and you will even be able to pass the second one same thing here if you miss somehow to jump like very oh my god please stop glitching Nara so if you are here up whatever you roll two time standing jump and you can keep going so this is a recovery if you hit the hit box here so this is pretty cool so again you want to jump from here straightforward standing jump and you'll be able to keep going so this is the sequence and then you pick up a prayer wheel and you just step back do a running jump standing jump and keep going uh, you don't want to do a running jump here because you want to pick up this small med pack that the rifle goes rifle guy dropped so this is a thing i'm gonna show you the whole thing so the whole thing should look like this like this well a bit better like this but rng wasn't with me here you pick out the thing monk will take care of this guy step back running jump standing jump and try to pick up the med pack and then you're gonna move those block so you pull that block so if you see the rifle got dying try to remember uh oh, actually it's not the way you need to do it so you need to go here and here it's faster obviously because you want to pull that block twice so if you 
see where the rifle guy died, you might be able to stop easier where he drops the med packs because you know where he died. If you don't know, you will have to be a bit lucky. And then you do a sidestep, try to curve a bit here and do another standing jump. And you'll be able to fit a running jump here and climb the ladder. So I'm not entering into more details about that because it's simple enough. The sequence is simple enough so you can get it easily. So once it's done, you do a running jump to the left, try to hit the boulder a bit, and then do another running jump to the flare pack. So if you have picked up the flare pack before, you can just keep running there. So then you can just do another running jump here. If you curve to the left, you will be able to do another running jump without hitting the ceiling. And then you can keep doing running jumps and go here. And the backtrack. So this is going to be a lot of backtrack in this level and a lot of running jumping. So that if you are confident with running jumping, it shouldn't be a hard level for you, except for the hard tricks. But in the 15 minutes, there are not too much of a hard tricks. So then you want to drop down here. Be careful about losing too much health. Do running jumps. And... Do another running jump here, another one here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and turn to get to the ski hole. You can't do running jumps here because those hitbox on the thing on the, under the ceiling are awful. So that's what you want to do. Then count 1, 2, 3, 4 and jump and go to the right here. Same, fear, uh, same thing, I delayed by 4 steps because... Um, because the hitbox are still here and then you want to jump over the table like this so those ones are not an issue things on the ceiling because I'm coming diagonally and they are positioned well enough for some reason then I count one two three steps and jump over this so this is this is not too precise so you can come for example you can come from here as long as you jump from here it's completely fine. As long as you jump early enough, it's completely fine. Oops. So for example, if that happens, it's don't worry, just jump here and it's fine. Then you jump under the slow ceiling here. And once you jump under the slow ceiling, you just count depending where you jumped. Like if you hit the ceiling here, you will only need two steps. If you jumped, if you hit the ceiling here, you will need three steps. For example, here, up, one, two, three, twist, and get to the key. So this is pretty easy, so it's worth trying. So again, the whole thing, up, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, twist, up. And then standing jump, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and jump over this. So this this is important to come to four step because if you can't three step you might get hit by the blades so you have to be careful about that Up. Uh -huh. so again standing jump one two three one, two three four and you make it and then you just do running jumps as you can and keep going and you will be able to do three running jumps here full running jumps go the corner and then you just need to run so if a monk is in front of you at the back of this room you want to hold your guns and aim at him why do you want that for example like this if if this monk for example when i'm running away is here you want to do that because he's gonna get to his position that means he's not gonna move and because he's not gonna move what's gonna happen is that he's gonna be closer when you're going to trigger that guy and you will be able to lure him a bit more efficiently because if there is no monk around he will shoot you every time so here hop so for example here it's pretty perfect and you want to go to the ski hole you don't want to kill that guy every monk is going to take care of him don't worry if you're unlucky you will get some damage so don't worry for beginner road there is i plan one and a half med usage for this level that should be completely enough for taking those guys shot 
and for advanced guys, you will have to be lucky, guys, because you only need a half med to the whole level, and you will need luck with RNG. So you do this, and then you have a couple of ways of doing the next room. My way is doing this, up, like this. So how do you do that? You step back, curve a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you roll. So this is relatively hard when you learn. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's five. Never mind. So step back curving. One, two, three, four, five. Up. I start curving at the fourth step. So I just go here. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Like this. So this is completely practice. You, you have to practice that if you want to do it like me. Because generally what will happen is that you'll do one, two, three, four, five, something like that. And you won't land on the key or you will stumble or whatever. So this is practice. One, two, three, four, five, up, up, like this. Or if you don't feel like it, you can just do this. Go here, do a twist here and here. It doesn't lose that much time and it's easier. So for beginners, I just completely advise you to do this. Get on roughly in the middle of his style, do twists. Worst case, that will happen. Just press forward and you will be able to pick it up. And if you get on it, it's pretty good. So here, here, up, oops, and turn. And then you want to try to fit running jumps. And as you're doing that, what you want to do is you want to find those pick this pickup. So this pickup is the pickup of a thug they t the monks took care about uh, at the start of a level. And his position drop is of course completely random because monks can be a bit dumb and etc. So generally it's fine. Generally it's in that room. So it's fine. Or worst case, it's actually worst case scenario that it can be here forever, not on the way. There is only one really bad thing, is if monks kill this guy under the table, then you can't pick up the thing. That's just pure luck, pure RNG, well, pure bad luck in this situation. But you will have to get used to that. So you lose one med and use these. You will pick up uses later, or you will have to, uh, yeah, you will pick up uses later if you miss that thing. So don't worry, you will just lose ammo. So you will just have to find ammo somewhere else. But even though in beginner, um, <coughs> in beginner route, you should still be good on Uzi if you don't pick up that. So don't worry too much about that. It's more about the meta that it can be a problem. So if you can pick it, it's good. If you can't pick it, well, it's not that bad. So whatever you do, try fit running jumps here. Be careful about those hitbox because those hitbox are awful too. Like this. Well, you can stumble on it, I'm sure, but I can't do it for now. But trust me, if you jump wrongly, you can just stumble and it won't be good. Oops. Oops, come on. So yeah. And don't worry that if one monk die, he is gonna have to kill some of us because some of us coming as a backup. So don't worry. So pick up the Uzis and keep going. And be careful about those blades. So you have to stop if you don't know where they are. And if you know where they are, just try to have a best sequence jumping around it. So that's I won't explain too much about that one because. It's case by case thing completely. And then just get the sequence right. So try to have the sequence right. This is really not out of a sequence, but it's really faster. So this is the sequence you want. Up. Up. You can even add a running jump here, but I never do it personally. So this is the sequence you want. So how do you do that? Turn over your weapon here. Uh, do. Uh, start running with uh, trying to cut the corner, so press left. And once you reach the step, just do a running jump, second running jump, and then do only running jumps. And then count one, two, three, 
jump here and do stunning jumps like this and this will work every time try to stick to the left of a fire thing or on the right it doesn't matter as long as it's on the side because if you mess up somehow what will happen is that for example if i mess up here for example up i will take a stumble and I will lose health but i won't be set on fire if i am on the middle well if i am on the middle oh come on if i'm on the middle i will get sent on fire and there is no water around so it's rip so you want to be on the sides to avoid that if something bad happens so just running jumps here you should be able to do the second running jump without stepping on the step like this and then you will have to, to get up the step here and then you know the sequence is good so you know the sequence is good if um, Lara step on this step here and do the running jump and then it's one two three jump here up up and if you feel like it you can even do a running jump here but i don't recommend that too much so yeah that's the sequence you want so this one is very important because it sets you up a fire so it's pretty cool so you just do standing jumps and you're good to go and then you're gonna have to pull this lever so not too much to talk about and then you're gonna turn a bit left and do a jump twist and you're gonna grab here and then you're gonna draw guns turn shoot roll and if you do it right you will land on the thing if you don't just press forward and pick it up it doesn't matter too much so this is pretty cool sequence and it's not too bad so i'm gonna do it again to show to you so i'm speaking quickly and also uh, not detaining too much compared to usual reason being that i don't want this video to be free hour long as usual <laughs> so yeah because if i explain everything as fast as slow as i usually do it will take three hours so yeah so you just so you just curve a bit turn a bit back twist grab here you want to turn when you land while you draw your weapons and you will be able to just do that so yeah curve up twist oops not like this grab turn shoot the window roll and you get it and then you want to add a running jump you don't want to jump you don't want to add a running jump immediately you want to add a running jump here to be able to fall on the lever so that's it's not too tricky but just something you need to mention so just do a running jump doesn't matter then you turn around and when you land and after you get to the second corner you can do a running jump here grab and get it so it didn't work because sequence is a bit different because starting position was different but let's shoot to you sorry here we'll have to yeah, that's what i thought come on so up up so here you turn and once you're here you can do it so here my angle was a bit wrong but worst case i just have to size them and then it's pure rng if the monks kill those guys or not so be prepared so here is as you can hear those guys are alive and kill the monks so that means you will have to do this prepare your auto that you spared and kill those guys if you can or you easy even if you have enough easy don't don't worry too much there is enough ammo in the beginner route for this for the harder road it might be a bit more tricky you I hope for you, you spared those auto ammo. So yeah, this is kind of pure luck. Come on, Laura, please. So 
so yeah here whatever one thing you have to know is that this guy drop a small med pack so you want it so try to so for example here i killed him so i can just pick it up but for example when you will get here i need to get higher when you get here you want to look quickly where this guy die in the battlefield and you will get the small on the way back when you will know where it is so this is what you want to do in your own so let's try one more time to get a good rng and if not it will just stay fairy but i think i saved too late so it might be botch stay for rng yeah i think it is Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's here. Okay. okay, he killed him. So I know that, the, for example, here, I know that the blue jacket guy died against the wall there. So that's good. So you jump twist here, do a running jump, try to go here, fit another running jump, and pull the block twice. Nothing to say about that to pick up the prayer wheel. So it's the second one, I think. Yeah, it's the second one. And this is important at this point that you check your health because the next jump is gonna require half of your health, at, roughly. So yeah, just try to say about it. So for example here, I anticipated that he was here to be able to get my sequence so then you're gonna have to climb here so let's go and before climbing you're gonna go on the very left so this is important that in your sequence that you try to start climbing on the left of a ladder you you go here when you're here go on the left until she counts anymore and climb and you'll be able to set up the bark and jump so setup for a bark and jump is standing jump forward here then turn and try to line up like venice lara the corner uh, over here corner over here this corner with lara stop head so that's that's your visual point or at least that's my visual point and then you save <laughs> and then you save all right, so I cut a video here because I wanted to have a quality second part because bark and jump is not easy to explain or all sort of stuff later. So let's go. So this is your lineup and this is the jump you have to do. Well, I didn't get the grab, but this is, the rest was good. Like this. So this is the jump you want to do. But this is not as easy. Well, <laughs> this is not as hard as it looks if you have a proper setup. So if you want to YOLO it first, and then you can explain about setups. So there is first way to YOLO it is to YOLO it completely. So you have this lineup and you have to do a running jump. And when Lara is on the side like this, for example, the last, if you pause the video just before the inventory, you will see Lara's position is a bit at the right of the corner, like an a man or something. That's when you have to start pressing left and holding it. And once you've done that, you set it up. So here it's too late because I pressed inventory and it delayed and etc. But that's where you want to start pressing jump uh, left, like this. And then you hold left. And then what you need to do is you need to press grab at the right time and the right time is i think it's two frame window i think it's two frame window. i'm not sure it might also be depending on your position on your angle well your position is the same but the angle can be very different also when you start pressing left might affect it but roughly you have two frame window at max so you have to grab if you want to yellow it in a two frame window with the right angle so it means that you have to press jump at the right time and you have to grab at the right time like this 
So if you practice it, you will realize it's not that hard. Some people have visual clue. For example, some people are looking at the blue texture over there uh, just before the window. They use that to know when they have to press grab. I can't help you about that because I personally don't use that at all. I do it by feel. But you can use that as a visual clue, for example, to know when you have to grab and etc. So this is, I don't know when, but you can try to use that if you're not confident enough when you yellow it. And if you're not confident enough, don't yellow it, obviously, but whatever. So this is basically how you yellow you, you it. You just have to do everything perfectly. Just press jump here, grab now, and you're good. So this is a really hard jump to do while doing something. So you really need to be focused when you yolo it. Because if you don't, you mess up. The, you, you can mess up anything. If you mess up anything, it's rip. So what you need to do is you need to really focus if you yolo that. Like this. Up, like this. So there is another way to time the grab. Because the grab needs to be two frame window. It needs to be the latest grab possible. What you can do is you can do that. You can just do the same thing when you start up and you when you get close. So here, for example, I know the camera changed, so I know I have to grab up like this. So here I saw it, but I was really lucky to see it. But yeah. So what you have to do is when you get close to the window like this, you start buffering left and forward until the camera changes. So here camera changes so I can grab. I need to make it. So this is a way easy, this is yeah a way easier way to a way easier way. This is an easier way, sorry, to do this jump. Because um you your visual is really easy when you buffer. So when you jump, you just need to take care about when you press left, for example, here. And when you get close, just buffer, camera change, grab, and you make it. So this is an easy way to YOLO it. Well, it's not exactly YOLO, so yeah. So here, camera change already. But this is relatively fast, so it's completely fine, I would say, personally. If you're not aiming for most optimized time so this is a good option if you want to yellow it and don't use the setup and the flare thing that i'm going to show you so yeah that's pretty much it about that this is exactly the same and this is there is nothing else to talk about so up change camera grab and good so this is it and then you have the if you hate grabbing or whatever or you want to make this this one every time you have a buffer uh, buffer thing so what you have to do is you have to uh, you have to buffer so you have to do four buffers so one forward two forward three forward four forward and then when you exit this one you need to press forward jump and flare and then it should time it perfectly like this so this then you just need to you just need to press uh, the flare button i also forgot that before landing obviously you need to press the grab button or she will she won't grab obviously but you can hold it in the air it doesn't matter it will do the grab automatically it's exactly like offshore rig um offshore rig flare setup that i showed except that you have to curve so this is obviously harder for people wondering you can't save a flare and do the um the thing like offshore rig with a drawing pistols because drawing pistols change lara turning speed so you will mess up everything with that so that's why you use the flare so one two three four forward and then you press an old forward jump flare press left old grab and you will make it and you don't well, i don't know why i pressed flare but 
you don't need to press flare anymore. So, one, two, three, four. Draw flare. Oops, curve is not good here, but yeah. So, the only thing you need to concern, except your inputs, obviously, are just the curving of a jump. Up, like this. And then you just you just do the inputs and it's good so you don't need to take care about the late grab which is really fortunate for a lot of people so one last time one two three four and if you don't feel like putting the flare using the flare button just after this buffer what you can do is you can do an offshore rig and select the flare here it's a bit slower but it's better for some inputs and some layout or whatever then you just need to jump forward and take care of all the rest, so yeah. So this is another thing. And once you land, you roll and you do a standing jump. Oops. You're gonna lose a bit of health, so yeah. So here, up. Well, no, not top, but just flop. Oh, please, come on. So this was a on jump. So as you can see, this is pretty technical, come on. It's pretty technical and pretty hard, but with setups and everything, you should be able to make it. Okay, I'm gonna make it, I swear. Okay, easy. And then you immediately do a standing jump and you will lose a bit of health. So if you don't have a lot of health, just take a med. You use a med, I mean. And you're gonna take the ladder, go on four climbs and do it jump go to that ladder now oops too much left and knock on three climbs and you get to do one two three do a jump twist to the right to get to that ladder count one two three again do another jump twist forward this time because the ladder will be in front of you then do one two three again and then do the same thing, except you aim at this wall and you try to, to have this angle. Why do you want to do that? Because you will do that sequence. Oops, sorry. You're going to just jump backward, backward again, stumble forward against this wall, and you'll be perfect position to pick up the wheel. If you don't want to do that, you just roll here, get here, and get to the wheel here, but it's slower, so I don't know why you want to do that. But yeah, once you do the twist here, just go against that wall, turn a bit, just do two backflip, and you will land every time on it. Then roll, putting a flare, and get that ladder. Do a twist here, back twist here, to grab that ladder again. Turn and roll here. If you feel like, you can do a leg grab to land closer to the edge. So you can do one roll here, for example, I didn't do it, so we'll have to roll and step back here. Climb a uh, grab here because you don't want to lose health and flare cancel here and go to that ladder. So I'm not gonna explain it again here because I think I explained it completely clearly here. And yeah, so and this is really easy. So replay the video if you haven't and we keep going. And then you do running jumps, so no problem here. So try to get a best sequence, not like I just did. <laughs> and then you do running jumps. Don't have the running jumps here, because once if you do it, there is a chance you fall you fell in this hole here. So you just want to jump over it, normally delaying a bit your jump. And then you keep going. And then we're gonna get to the same spot. So you want to jump here. And then you wanna I didn't do it right, but what uh, is this not showing anything? I don't think so. Jumps, and I'm gonna show you my sequence for the next room. Sequence that works like, well, every time, except when I eat punk like this. <laughs> Up. So this is this sequence. So we are maybe even a bit faster. So this is this sequence. Let's avoid all the traps. So how do you do that? You just running jumps. Generally, 
so for example here my direction is here so i have to be a bit more center to this room when i do my running jumps but generally my sequence is uh, is this one i land here oops i land here I jump here and I stand on the right and then I try to stand on the right and I will hit that lump a bit and then I can do that. So this is my usual sequence but because here I am on the left already I'm gonna stay a bit in the middle to be able to keep my sequence alive. So here for example it didn't work because I didn't delay because I'm gonna explain to you. So. That's what you want to do. You want to stay here, up, do run jumps, try to land here. And what you're going to do is you're going to do running jumps here. And then you're going to do one, two, three, do another running jump. And it doesn't work because I forgot to curve. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. So you need to curve too. I forgot about that. So you want to land here. And then you do, you do running jumps curving a bit. One, two, three. And then you're able to keep running. So you might lose some health doing that, but this is the only way I managed to get that consistently, personally. So that's what I'm showing you. So here, up, curve a bit, up, one, two, three, up, up, up. So Again, there is a lot to think about, so let's go. So here, jump here, jump here, jump here, jump here. When you land here, you do your curve normally. And then you can one, two, three. Try to, uh, this running jump here, you try to curve it too. And when you land, what's going to happen is going to count one, two, three. Because if you jump like I just did after two steps, you will hit that low ceiling and you won't be able to make the next jump. So you need to count three steps, actually two and a half steps, to make the, the second jump. And if you do three steps, you need to slightly curve or you will bump against the wall. So this is a small detail that you need to know. Because if you mess the sequence, then you have to kind of go intended way and wait for the wheels to pass and etc. So that's, that is not really good. One, two, three. And you do the same thing here, one, two, three. Well, one, two, and a half. But because I said quickly, it was three. Because personally, when I count my steps in my head, I just do, when I know I have to do, for example, two and a half, I am one, two, three, for example, because that's who I am. I'm weird, I know. But anyway, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. So that should be one, two and a half, but whatever. So this is basically the sequence. And this is the only way I will show you because I don't know any other. So yeah, you curve a bit. Oops, jump too early. Okay, it still works somehow, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, one, two and a half. Up, and yeah. One last time. So I, can, I recommend you to, if you are less than 50% health here, to use a small med because you you might be hit you might something might going on extra so yeah th this is my best recommendation for you one over time so hop one two three curve oops that's not what you're supposed to do so if that happens you can try to recover doing that well not that but yeah so if for example if you have a stumble i will show it actually because i still haven't got it i think you might get a stumble when you land if you're too close i will show you if i can like this if that happens do the same sequence god damn it do the same sequence but do it on the left side and you will recover this way i will show you why I will show you how actually. Up. Of course. Please give give it give me a bad sequence. Up, up, up. 
like this, one, two, three. So if you're on the left here, well, you will lose more health, but as you can see, you can still keep going and make it. So this is really cool. And if you get only this soft stumble and you get the rest of the sequence perfectly, you won't have to stop for the last blade because you will be able to make it. Let me show you. Can't get it. That's embarrassing. Like this, one, two, three. For example, like this, one, two, three. And you'll be able to make it, the blade will be out of position. So that's pretty cool. You will lose a bit more health, but that's the price for saving like at least five seconds or something and i think it's pretty much worth it so this is my recommendation so yeah one last time it here here up curve it one two three up one two three up one two three up and you keep going you roll and get lucky so this this place is really hard so i really recommend you to really practice that part and if you don't like my sequence get another sequence that you like whatever but because i kind of everyone's sequence is a bit different so that's why i'm explaining only mine because only mine works for me and that's generally how it goes and then you want to jump on this slow sailing to avoid losing too much health because if you delay too much that will happen and you will lose a bit more health oh wait never mind you don't lose any health all that happened how did that do okay whatever <laughs> okay i didn't know that okay never mind <laughs> well if you jump on this slow ceiling you will avoid well you will get a bit of damage slightly but you will be able to keep running and push that block but if you delay too much like this you will do that and lose a bit of time but you won't take any damage so you want to be on the left obviously of this room when you land because obviously if you are here it will be harder to land on the block and you might, you might use health like this so yeah This is the only thing you have to know. Push that block, get the fourth wheel, and be prepared to get the last wheel. Well, not in the, not in the next minutes, but be prepared to go for it. Mm -hmm. Then what you want to do is you want to do one, two, three to be able to do a full jump here. Because if you do only two steps, you will get to the low ceiling and you'll have you won't have the best sequence. So to get the best sequence, you do one, two, three. So here I hit the low ceiling because position is different from when I pick up a barrel wheel. One, two, three. Oh, God damn it. Okay, let me save. Uh, reload. So that's why it's important that you roll to get the prayer wheel. Because you will get a good position like this. up, And then you're able to do one, two, three and get the full thing. And then you just need two running jumps to get to the ladder here and be able to climb. And like 99.9.9999% of the time, monks will kill the two guys that you triggered earlier. So that's, don't worry about that. And yeah, just you're going to do some running jumps. Practically nothing to say about that because there is no problem. Just be careful about this jump here because you don't want to hit that, that, uh, that place here. I'm just going to show you because it was a bit late. You don't want to do this. That's what I mean. Up. You don't want to do this. That's just what I wanted to say. And then you keep going to this place. To this keyhole. Use the keyhole. Do a backflip. Roll. Up, running jump, running jump, running jump, blah, blah, blah. And then 
keep doing running jumps and because the sequence here is different for everyone some people go a bit left some people go a bit right i do something particular to get my sequence right i won't explain to you the best one but i will just show you what's important to do what's important to do is to jump from here is to jump from here because if you jump from here you'll be able to make it like this every time if you do it too late come on come on laura if you do it too late that that will happen and if you do it too early the same thing will happen like this so yeah that's not what you want to do you want to jump from here and it's actually better to um, have a bad sequence jumping sequence for example when you're like this or whatever well not like this but for example you arrive here and you do extra steps to jumps then jumping early and getting the stumble so yeah this is important then grab the ladder try to be on the left not too much on the left so now i can get this animation because if you are here you will be able to grab but you will have to shimmy because it's better to climb like this and just keep going and just go here turn a bit and keep going and draw your m16 to kill the next guy and keep going and then do the same thing the sequence will be different for everyone so i won't explain exactly what is the best sequence or etc for being able to reach that style the most efficient way but roughly I'm gonna explain just quickly what i personally do is i get a sequence whatever it is generally it's the same but sometimes it's a bit different and what i do is i want to do a jump from here once you do a jump from here you can do this get a jump from here and then another jump so that's personally what i do to jump the most efficiently on this style because the problem is if you jump too early well that will work here but if you jump very early or down that will happen and you don't want that and if you jump too late you will get a stumble so that's what i personally try to avoid so yeah so whatever my sequence is i try to whatever if i land here i delay a bit my jump and i jump from here and i'm in good spot to do that sequence and then i try to aim at the right of this corner because i can just turn and do a running jump uh, a standing jump here so that's what push i personally do up draw my weapon to turn quickly standing jump another running jump so here there is a couple of sequences to get the, the prayer wheel so first one i'm going to show you is this one so you can grab here drop roll get down and press down plus uh, right and you will get on the prayer wheel so this is the the easiest way because it's the most mechanical because it will work every time up 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 and go. so you don't even need to be on the far right when you grab so that's what's make it really consistent up like this jump grab roll up so that's pretty good and uh my sequence of special do is this i just jump here i grab here but i don't i don't i'm voluntary being not straight to avoid grabbing i roll here and then i count one two three and i will land on the prayer wheel so that's the way i do which is i think faster if i remember right and it's it loses a bit of health but it's pretty easy one two three up and you get it so this is just just how i do it up one two three up and you get it 
And then if you are in this position, you can do a back twist, grab, and do a stunning jump to get to that lever. Or if you did the other one, this is kind of the same thing, except you do a stunning jump forward. Oops, well, whatever. But you're supposed to be like this when you grab it. So this is the same, except you do stunning jump forward, grab to avoid the full stumble, and pull the lever. And go here and pray that this guy don't damage you too much, but the monk generally do a great job to take damage. And keep going, and oops, take that weapon, take that ammo, which you didn't take on the way in. And keep going. Roll here, grab to avoid losing too much damage, and just keep going. And here is our RNG part if you have if you are blinking health, which is not my case, but it's cool. So if you have blinking health here, you can make it, but you have to be smart and lucky, depending on the position of the enemies. Try to run around them, try to make as they don't shoot you. Shoot them if you can. One might go away sometime. So this is the best advice I can give you. For example, I will try to shoot him. He will probably go away. Like this, for example, as you can see. And I can just jump around him and etc. So this is pretty RNG. Sometimes might destroy, they might destroy you, sometimes not. You don't want to do this, for example, because you will get stumbled. Uh, just showing quickly. So if you do this, if you cut corners like this, well, it's not really a corner, but you know what I mean. If I cut the trajectory, I would get stumbled every time here. That's why I go a bit to the right. That seems slower, but that's for the sake of not getting stumbled. And then here, I do one, two, three, and then I jump, or I will get another stumble. So this is two, two small things you need to know. So here, up, up, because if I just jump right now, I will get stumbled like this. And getting stumbled in front of those guys is not funny, believe me. <laughs> that doesn't feel like it happens once. Up. So yeah, try to avoid those guys anyway, and keep going, get to that hole, prepare a flare, because we're gonna do a flare console. Up. Try and climb this way. Don't climb this way. Climb this way. Doesn't matter where, as long as it's in this direction. Because what you will be able to do for this is you will be able to just hold forward, press right, and do the jump here over the fence. Because what hap what's happening is that if you just jump forward, you will stumble. And if and if you're coming from here, because you never land, you never climb from the same spot. You will have to time manually things and sometimes that will happen and etc. So if you do like I just did, up, that will do it every time. And you flood console and you get there, there, and go here and use your prayer wheel that you earned and end this level. So the rest of this level is going to be really... Oh, actually there is one sequence remaining, but yeah. Just do back twist here. Running jump to be a little, to be a bit faster, and there will be one sequence after the Sarah. But beside that, this level is done. So in terms of main management, like I said, uh, in terms of uh, route difference, the routes are almost exactly the same in um, between easy and hard routes. So just one small difference is that try to not use too much M16 ammo on the guy after the clunk clunk door part and that's the only difference except that pickups meds are the same just med, med utilization is just you want to try to make this level with one small in hard roads one and a half for easy roads so that's it so here you want to do a back twist turning right and you'll be able to do this sequence every time which is slightly faster than uh, doing other things like this or whatever for some reason so you really want to do back twists press right and do running jumps and this is the fastest sequence 
And one last sequence. One final sequence to go over this fence. So I saw people do this, this, and they fail it sometime, and etc. What I do is just use the seraph, press forward and left, uh, on right, sorry. And if if you um, if you do it all the way through, you will get stumble. But if you stop like few frame after the camera change you will get this angle and you will make it every time so again up few frame after the camera change up like this up and we'll make it every time so yeah that's pretty much okay you can draw guns if it helps you to to get the camera better or whatever so if you draw guns you will be able to see when you when you have to stop pressing right basically you want to be here in the corner of this tile and aim at the other corner so that's that's the way you can you can see it so you just draw guns and when you see that lara's direction is going to the corner you can stop pressing right undo this jump and finish the level and that was sparken monastery so that was way shorter than i expected so i'm pretty happy about that <laughs> Uh, I hope it was still clear. If it wasn't, just tell me in description. And if you have any question too, you can ask in description, in, uh, in the description, in commentary. Sorry. And next level is gonna be catacomb. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.